coming off a stunning victory over a ranked Liberty team, the Huskies fell flat against Army. From the start of the game, UConn played from behind. With a blocked punt by Jabril Williams, the Black Knights got on the board early, putting up seven before even gaining a yard of offense. From that point on, UConn began defeating themselves. The Huskies finished with 11 penalties to Army's four, and despite outgaining Army by 50 yards, UConn had to sacrifice 78 yards in penalties. You know, that's kind of the story of the game, is us shooting ourselves in the foot. Uh, I've never, in, that I can recall, played a game where we had seven false starts. We can't have something that we like, out. So we got to execute. Uh, we got to execute. But despite the loss, this UConn team has accomplished more than anyone could have imagined. Vegas had UConn at two and a half wins to begin the season, and the Huskies stand at six, with a very bright future and a potential bowl game ahead of them. We just put together a good culture and um, we bought in. I think we all just believe in each other. We have each other's backs. Uh, these guys are just, man, they're just different. They're, just, they're different. And uh, I appreciate them so much. They've, they've added a lot of value to my life and hopefully I've added a tiny bit to theirs. But uh, I hope UConn, UConn Nation, Husky Nation, is, is uh, proud of the direction that these players are taking this program. For now, the Huskies await their bowl game fate and the news on if they'll continue their storybook season. But for now, from Mikey Field here in West Point, I'm Keegan Brown, UCTV Sports.